Uh, I'm Carl Rove. I'm a, a writer uh, for the Wall Street Journal. I write a column every Thursday, and I have analyst for Fox News, and I give speeches and do a little bit of consulting and spend a lot of time, uh, my volunteer time is in politics helping a group called America. I mean, the, the thing that causes most campaigns to lose is that at the end of the day, people don't really have a good sense of what you want to do because you don't have a good sense of what you want to do. Or if you have a sense of what you want to do, it's something that's been adopted from a poll or a focus group or somebody else and doesn't spring from inside you. I mean, running for office, the higher the, 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 higher the office, the more accurate this is, is like the emperor's new clothes. At the end of the parade, they're going to see exactly as you are. And they're going to make a determination not on the basis of some phony TV ad or some artifice. They're going to try and sort it all through and come to a decision about who's best given the time, given the times that the country or the state faces, and given the respective skills and abilities of the candidates. So, you know, big compelling vision that is authentically felt is the most important thing. We did a lot of direct mail, and then starting after 1984, uh, started being the general consultant for a lot of campaigns. So we do the strategy as well as the fundraising mail and the voter contact mail. And um, yeah, we did 75 campaigns for governor, senator, congressman in 24 states, and then did hundreds of campaigns, you know, state legislative campaigns, Supreme Court campaigns, and Texas and elsewhere, but mostly Texas. And being in Texas. Uh, you know, when these changes started, and not being, you know, located in Washington, D.C. was a big advantage to me. I was, I was there and on the ground and able to help a lot of people, and, and as they moved up the food chain, you know, I got to meet.